Here's a simple stairway and uh, it could be used for mobile homes, trailers, or even decks. The um, kind of the methods used here can create a easier path than trying to figure out how to how to lay out and cut a stair stringer. And that's really the reason why I'm kind of making these is to and I'm going to make a series of these um, there. I'll put a link on the website to the ones that I have made once they are done. But the whole uh, reasoning behind this is to make something that uh, almost anybody can see and understand. Hey, I can I can build this type of a stairway. And I do understand that laying out the stair stringers, that's not always going to be easy. So you will need to have some two by eight we're going to use to run horizontally, two by 12 for the treads, and some one by fours, one by sixes here, and these will simply be used to attach or connect the two by eights to prevent them from falling apart. And make sure that you keep them back away from the nosing. Same with this board here. And uh, on the other side, I didn't have this one here, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to put one in the middle, maybe space them every 24 inches, something like that. And you can always run one at an angle instead of putting the three horizontal here, something like this. The main reason what we're trying to do is connect these boards together to keep them um, nice and stable. So you could see where you could screw, uh, put a couple screws in here, a couple in here, and a couple in here to connect these three um, boards here. Zooming in for a close-up. I kind of butted up against the back of the tread. You can always pull it down a little bit farther. It doesn't need to be right up against here, and it might actually be better to have it uh, about a half inch away from this spot. And here I'm just kind of showing you that uh, I, I said to keep these boards away from the front here. And the same with this 2x4 here. If you put it here, you're going to end up kicking it. Um, you know, you don't got to put it this far back, but make sure that it's at least, I would say, 2 inches back from here. Especially if you have a little nosing like we have using the 2x12s. Now, if you wanted to make this to where it didn't have a nosing, just simply bring these boards. Uh, you could reconfigure the boards to where they would line up with the edge of the nosing uh, or the front of the tread instead of having a nosing here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some measurements that you will need to build this stairway. If it's going to be three foot wide, your treads and your decking planks can be three foot. The 2x4s here that we're using need to be at least 3 inches smaller. I would recommend cutting them 3 and a quarter inches smaller. A quarter of an inch sometimes will actually create the, the size you need for your treads. But if your stair treads hold, um, actually were over, they overhung the edge of these stair stringers here. Uh, an eighth of an inch. That's not going to be, uh, that's not going to, that's going to look okay, but if it's an eighth of an inch less, it's not going to look very good. And again, I'm just suggesting this because I've built too many of these things before and cut this the exact size uh, that I thought it needed to be and then ended up with a problem for my treads. So what I would recommend doing is if you do get um, some lumber, you know, build it in sections and then measure everything. If you're not going to follow my advice, that way you can cut the treads individually to fit after you have built the frame here for it. Here's what it would look like before it was assembled. You would have something like this. And again, you just, this it's not hard to do. You lay this stuff out, put it together, and then um, screw or nail these one by fours to the um, two by eights to uh, connect everything together and make a nice solid wall. Okay, here's some of the measurements here. And you could always cut these pieces 
and uh, and then measure everything also. I'm just kind of throwing these measurements out here. And this is from my computer aided uh, drawing here. Um, it could be off an eighth of an inch, who knows. So this is what it would look like. And then here are the measurements for the two by eights. And uh, again, these are from my computer aided drawing. I have not built this thing, just kind of built it on the computer. Let me know if these measurements don't work for some reason. Two by eight, seven and a half inches wide. Here's the length, lengths of them. And don't forget that the bottom one is going to be an inch and a half smaller than the tread thickness. So if you use, um, four by twelves you will need to cut three and a half inches off of this uh, two by eight on the bottom so we are using two by twelves which are an inch and a half thick so we only need to remove an inch and a half from this one and that is it that should uh, and again you can always reverse the process how to assemble it just come back and go backwards like this have that this is the first part that you are going to put together then you will stand them up and you will connect them with the bottom two by fours or the treads. And then you will finally do the last install this section in here and you are done. Simple and easy. And uh, don't forget to visit the website for um, and then go to the home building website, home building and repairs. Click on the stairs, stair building that would be in the home building section. And uh, hopefully there will be a link in there for simple and easy stairways. And that is where we're going to put all of these videos. And I am going to create a list of other measurements or other videos with stairways with different sizes um, and uh, lengths of material, which you're actually going to need to assemble the stairway. So if it helps, you like these videos, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button.